Hey everybody, uh, Melanie Brownie here again with Spotlight Interviews. I'm really excited tonight um, with guest David Walton Rice, who will be joining us shortly. There are a couple reasons why. Number one, the reason why I finally got him on the show is because I had the fortunate opportunity to sit on the set and observe and kind of help out a little bit in the background for a TV series pilot called Beans. And that's something, another one of my guests, Cameron, um, introduced me to everyone and so I was able to get on that set and I was already following David um, before that and when I found out he was one of the cast members I was just like super super excited and a little fangirled over that so David is here Cameron's here also wonderful and so we're gonna get started I'll get him on let's see here Awesome. Thanks everyone for joining. Get your support. All right, David, I sent you over. It's, oh my goodness. Bam, right there. You just <laughs> like magic. How's it going? Good. How about you? I am doing fantastic. So thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. I appreciate your time. I don't know how you have the time because um, <laughs> like I mentioned, I've been following you for a while. I think even before I moved down to Arizona, I started kind of checking out the scene and you kept popping up, um, whether it was on a Facebook thing or when I did start digging into um, stuff on Instagram, I kept seeing you and your energy, your enthusiasm and your drive really caught my attention from the get go. So again, thank you so much for being on here. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm honored. Seriously. Thank you. And for those of you <laughs> that don't, that may not know David, most of you that are probably here probably are his followers and just excited to support him as he supports everyone else as well. But if you don't know, he is on this kick lately with doing these, these Instagram <laughs> reels. I know it's been since probably like April, you started doing it really consistently. I am loving them. That is just like one of the ways I love passing my, passing the time. And when I told my, my nine-year-old that um, I was having the interview with you, he's like, oh, him? He oh like, my God. So, I mean, that's just a small portion of, of the entertainment that you bring. Um, let's go ahead and dive in. And, yeah. and, you know, I see you primarily as an actor. <clears throat> and I want to know if that's how you, um, you know, want to be seen, if that's, that seems like the push that you're doing and, and how you got into that. Like, where did it really start for you? Oh, my gosh. So it started back in high school. And I'll try not to make this too long. But it started back in high school where... Um, Actually, it started before that. When I was a kid, my older brother introduced me to a movie called Terminator 2 Judgment Day. When you were a kid. <laughs> yeah, I was a kid. I saw this film and I was just blown away by how it made me feel and how, how uh, you know, part of my language, badass it was. Um, so that, that night that I saw that movie, I simultaneously fell in love with film and, and bodybuilding, you know? So... Um, Fast forward, here I am, and I always, I always remembered I just wanted to do movies like that. I wanted to make movies. I wanted to make people feel how I felt watching that movie. Um, so fast forward to high school, I got into uh, some classes. I, I dabbled with some auditions here and there. But I, part of me didn't take it as serious. You know, I was young. You know, uh, when you're in high school, you're doing things. You're living your life. Um, and I actually left it alone after high school for quite some time to – convinced myself that I wanted to get a real job. And uh, I tried to go the traditional routes of getting a career. I was actually going to go into law enforcement. That was my first choice at a serious career. Um, and then somewhere along the way, I just didn't feel right. Something kept bugging me. Um, so I kind of, I left that alone. And I <clears throat> moved out to Arizona at the tail end of 2018. And when I got out here, I made the decision to, to hit the ground running and really just tackle it and just go for it. That's awesome. That <laughs> it kind of helps me understand. I think a little bit more of the draw that I've connected with you. Mm -hmm. um, you're also you. Did you grow up in California? Is that? I did. I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm awesome. From, uh, Northern California, a small town called Chico. Chico. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So that's funny because I have a, a similar background to 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 what you're talking about. So um, yeah, wanting to go the you know grow up and get a real job route and along those those lines. So. Um, what is it that, um, what are you looking at right now as far as, you know, do you, ha do you have it set up? Is there a specific goal you're going toward? What 
what is your drive? Um, because I see the fire in you and it, it's, it's really strong. So I'm always curious when I see people like that, you know, what is it that's driving you? And do you have a specific point that you're trying to reach right now? <clears throat> I think more so when I first started, there was there was a specific point, but I feel like there's always a specific point that we're kind of going for, at least I am. But then you reach that point and then that's just, that's not it. That's not, I'm nowhere near finished. So I feel like right now, I guess to answer your question is, <clears throat> I have this insane love for the craft and creating, um, which is actually why I don't, I'm starting to branch off a little bit more off of just acting. Like I'm working on a little something right now um, um, uh, as far as directing and writing. So I we... see the little smile coming <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into too much of that right now, but um, I really just love, especially like when I, when I go see shows or when I watch my friends and class, people I'm close to perform and they're good. And I just want to work with them. Like it doesn't, it's not so much about me and wanting to like show off my skills, if any, I want to be able to just be immersed in that, that, that storytelling process. Um, so I feel like the end goal for me would just be to, just to do this for a living. Like this is what I do for work, you know? And I'm almost at a point now where that's, that's kind of the case. So uh, I, I, I just feel incredibly blessed to be able to, to do this almost every day. You know, whether I'm once awesome. or not, I'm writing, I'm reading scripts, I'm communicating with people, I'm talking to people about their stuff. So, so whether or not I'm in front of the camera or not, I'm immersed in this world of creativity. And it, I think that's what keeps me going. Yeah. And I think, I think it's really great. Like, you know, the reels help also <laughs> in, in, in some aspects and just, you know, the memorization, the, the connecting, the storytelling and, um, and then also you have another page as well. I do. Um, go ahead and mention that and I'll make yeah. sure I throw it in the description. Absolutely. So my other page is, so it started off with, a lot of you might be familiar with the uh, uh, Audrey Helps actors. Um, she put on this challenge. She does it every year. It's called the self Tech May Challenge. And I signed up. I was like, what is this? And I, I, I found out what it was. I read the, the rules and I got pumped because I was like, this is it, you know? And it was hard because you have to do 16 self tapes within the month of May. So... I, I created a page just for that because I didn't want to like flood everybody on this page with just my, <laughs> my monologues and self tapes. So I created that page. I did that. And it's at it's uh, David Walton Rice at self tapes for you guys if you want to go to that and check it out. So I did it. I hit my goal. I hit 16 self tapes. And then I realized I can use that page solely for acting and film stuff because I realized when I started getting to the reels which came from a place of like, just feeling kind of lost. I was in a dark place for a little bit. And I just remember how good it made me feel to watch funny reels and how much I would laugh. So I was like, if I could do that for, for somebody else, it'll make me feel better. So in turn, it kind of worked out. Absolutely. So I use this page for reels and just comedy stuff, which I've never, I never thought that I would, I don't consider myself funny at all. I don't know, it's weird. Um, You're hilarious. You have us running <laughs> over here all the time, so. <laughs> So I just use the other page just for film stuff and to talk about movies and to post my work. And, and when I post my work, uh, at first I was self-conscious about it because I didn't want to give people the wrong idea that I was, I was, I was gloating or, or uh, really into myself and what I was doing. It's more so to show other people that are in this industry or that are doing what they want to do or, or might be hesitant about it, that you could do it. And, and don't, be, don't be ashamed to share that with the world because people tend to gravitate towards those who are really living their truth and what they're about, you know? So, Absolutely. I don't know if that answers the question. It's kind of long, but. but no, yeah. it does. And, and that, that page, uh, I was able to go back and, and look at it and you have some amazing work in there. I, I love it. So I encourage everyone to go back. And Thanks. it's interesting to hear you say, you know, you're kind of concerned of how people might perceive it as, as yeah. far as you being like self-promotion. But it's really funny, like coming from an outside perspective, at least from another acting perspective, I think it's always really, really bold and courageous for people to put that kind of work out there. I'm yeah. always very, very impressed by it because I personally haven't been able to do that. You know, there have been times I've thought about it and I, I haven't. And it's, it's 
you know, just getting so caught up in my head and sitting there and watching your work and just sitting in awe and just enjoying it. And just, it helped me relax and realize and accept this is more of the norm. And I think I don't do that enough. And I think a lot of other people that are kind of sitting back on the sidelines that aren't pushing forward might also do that as well. So I think, I think that's really good to show other people um, and go check out other people's work because yeah. then it's, it, it inspires more things, oh my it gosh. Inspires things within you, it inspires interactions to reach out to the person and say, Oh man, that monologue, you killed it. Yeah. I do have a question. Like what yeah. was the pin? I didn't get that when you were doing the, the inner, the, the monologue, she had like a, a magnet or something. Was that part of the challenge or is that? Oh yeah. So because she was like, you have to post something that's not aired and you have to post something, wear a pin or something to show that this monologue isn't something that you did three years ago and that you're just posting video. Ah, okay, so that makes sense. Because I'm like, what's yeah. this pen? I was it like, would hold you accountable to stay honest. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, here you go, here's my pen. And then I would do the, you know, do the thing, so. That's awesome. That's yeah. a great idea on her part too. That's yeah. really neat. And I, that's beautiful that she did that. So yeah. I will reach out to her and say, that's awesome, she's, great idea. She, oh my gosh, she's, she has a podcast too. She's incredible. Um, but going back to what you said about going to other people's profiles, like social media, we all know um, there's two sides of it. There's a positive side and there's a very negative side to it where you can get wrapped up and consumed in this stuff of this fake reality. And that's what I really wanted to make sure to stay away from, which is why I started to do the reels mm -hmm. and make it to where you can come to my page and, and, and get a laugh. You don't have to feel threatened or feel, you know, you just, have a good time, you know? Um, if I can provide value in some way to make you feel something, then then I've won, you know? So like when I go to other people's pages and I see something really great, I, I engage and I reach out and I comment and I like because what, if you're just scrolling and you're not engaging and you're not connecting with people, what's the point? Yeah. You know? So I feel like it's a very useful tool if you can kind of manage it a little bit. Sometimes we all get carried away with this scrolling and stuff, but you know. I went, I went over your profile as well, th this one, and I did, I did notice the change. I noticed, um, you know, going for a lot more from the, the physical um, working out and, and encouraging people along that route mm -hmm. to, to you even kind of touch on a few of them about going through a dark time. Yeah. And um, since you brought that up, I was just, just kind of wondering, because I like to do this to encourage people. I like celebrating my guests. Um, especially finally getting able to being able to have you on here. But I also really want to encourage people to go and do the things that they want, whether it's acting or anything else <clears throat> to understand that there, you, you're going to have setbacks. You're right. going to have, you know, most, most of the time yourself holding you back and how to get through that. Um, but really that there are, that there are things that you can make it through and by listening to other people's stories. So I don't know how much of that you want to share or just, just, how you were able to get through those times or different different tools that you might use to get through those speed bumps that, that might block you in your career or personal life. Yeah, I mean, for me, <clears throat> um, this past year has been pretty difficult, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I wanna get into details about that right now, but a lot of the things that helped me get through um, kind of some of the things I was going through was just leaning more into that creativity and what makes me feel most alive. And, and, and I think the foundation for me is, is, like I said, when I watched Terminator 2 Judgment Day, it was bodybuilding, fitness, and, and film. So I, 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 you know, back in high school when I did the, you know, I was into acting, I wasn't serious, I left it alone for a while. In between that time, I was getting into a lot of trouble as a kid, you know, as most high school students do. And to kind of transition out of that mindset, I went to the gym nonstop and I got in shape and I got healthy and I stopped a lot of bad habits that I was doing. So I, I just reverted back to the basics of taking care of myself and my body and my mental. And then I kept thinking to myself, well, if you just stop everything <clears throat> and you just stay stagnant, won't you feel worse? And the answer was yes. So I was like, I don't want to feel worse. So I just dug deeper into my work and kind of what I do and it just pulled me along. You know, so I don't know if that's the, the healthiest way of going about it. You know, people have different ways of dealing with stuff, but I just dug more in and that helped. 
I think, I think whatever works for anyone is yeah. the right way. And I do, I work with a lot of different people and I see that a lot. What jumps out to me, number one is, is asking yourself the questions. Yeah. So many people avoid looking deep within themselves because we're afraid to be real with ourselves. So it's important when you, when you get quiet and you ask those questions and I'm so glad that you did. And, and another thing is, is I'm a, I'm big into, you know, go out for a walk, go work out. Working out really does help change that state of mind. Um, so I completely agree, you know, with what everything that you're saying. And, you know, like I said, it, it got you to this point. So what you were doing, what you are doing is absolutely right. And that's awesome. And thanks for sharing. Yeah, thank you. So what are you working on now that you can talk about? Like I said, I saw that smirk about the, the directing thing. And that's, that's another key thing. That's like, you've mentioned it a couple of times, like, you know, following the thing that lights you up and following yeah. the joy and a lot of your, your reels that aren't the comedic ones really um, echo that sentiment. And um, so we won't talk about that because you're not ready for that yet. But what are some projects that either a project that you that's out there and you want people to check out or something that's coming out or, or something that you want to be part of and um, maybe haven't quite landed it yet? You know, uh, if you guys can help me throw it out to the universe that I want to break into the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> I just went to LA a few weekends ago and I, I trained for the my combat reel and got some professional stage combat training. And it was it was by far the best, one of the best experiences I've had so far. And it's probably one of the best moves I could have made for my career because it's really showcased the type of stuff that I want to be a part of, you know? Um, I love drama. I love action. I love all film. I love comedy, I love drama, I love action. I even love dramedies, I'm a sucker for those uh, romance movies. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just love love stories, but. Which is kind of what you played in. Yeah, yeah. Means, you know, so I, I got to see part of that. Yeah, it's sweet, it's soft, and it's very, it's very subtle. And I think those subtle moments, the human moments that we all have, if you can showcase that properly and connect with people and audience, I think that's amazing. I think it's magic. Um, so the few things that I have going on right now, um, I'm working with a few friends on a, a couple of different scripts. Um, one of them I plan on being in, and the other one I plan on directing. I have two actors in mind, or actually we already spoke. I had my first uh, Zoom table, no one knows this. This is the first time I'm saying this. I had my first uh, table read over Zoom ever uh, that I've hosted myself uh, this past Sunday. And it just blew my mind to think that I was sitting there talking to other actors about my you know that's golden that's uh, awesome it's just that that i wrote myself you know it's just it's uh it's a really good feeling and i and i know for a fact if i if, if one day comes where i can't be in front of the camera i can't act i know that there's going to be a place for me under the umbrella of creativity so i don't have any fear about missing out i don't have anxiety about chasing like i'm hungry and I love what I do and I'm always gonna grind, but there's no like, you know that, that feeling you get where you're like, I'm not doing enough, I gotta, I gotta go. Once I drop that feeling, I think uh, more doors opened up for me. Mm. You know, I just let go of the steering wheel a little bit, stop gripping it so tight and I just enjoy the ride. I like that. You know, so. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, your, your action reel is amazing. And that I just threw right before I went live, I threw it in my, in my story. So anyone look and click on that and he'll take you right to this page and you can watch it. Um, I was really, really impressed by that. And I, I was one of the things I was thinking about, like, how long did that take you to do? Because, <laughs> wow, like, it's so intense. And anyone that's ever attempted anything, anything, and you could read a script and you could, it could say minor stunts, like a fall. And you're like, oh, I've got that. No, it takes so much. So that real, like, if anyone that's done any kind of work really understands the kind of work that went into that, it's very, very impressive. <laughs> it's the most intense training I think I've ever done. At one point, like, I stopped. I was like, I turned around away from them. I was like, oh, my God, don't throw up. Like, don't throw up, you know. So I'm like, <laughs> like, hold it together. Uh, but we did that for two hours. Um, and it was, uh, it was amazing. It was so cool. Like that's one of my, I just, I made one of my dreams come true. And I waited over, I think it was like a year and a half to make that happen. Um, 
I'm just really proud of myself for actually doing it and following through and, and, and making that happen. You know? Well, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You can, you can see the work that went into that. So it's, it's, and it gets you pumped. Like I watch it. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the one that, that, that got my son. <laughs> I oh, that's, that's awesome. what won him over. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, and the, the stealing the, the, what is it? The crustables, the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the two yeah. back to back. I like that. Yes. You're very creative. <laughs> Very creative. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just go to his page and, you know, <laughs> just stalk him for a little bit. And it's fun. It's awesome. Well, I appreciate you being on here. Is there anything else? You already gave so much, but is there anything else? Any Anything that maybe to that younger self um, <clears throat> that stopped acting or, you know, any point along your career that if you just like, oh man, if I'd known this earlier, is there any one thing that you wish you would have kind of maybe not heard because sometimes we hear things younger, but not really grasped at a younger age um, that you'd like to share with anyone looking to go after their dreams. Yeah. I think no matter what you're doing, like I said a little bit before, just realizing that there's, it, there's, there's a time for everything. And for me, what helped me kind of relax and not get so strict. Cause this is so, I mean, anything that you're trying to pursue, especially like in this industry, it's so hard. Um, but it doesn't have to be if you just understand, like for me, I understand this is going to be a lifelong thing. This is not something that has to happen in the next 10 years. It's going to happen for the rest of my life. So by understanding that, I would go back and tell my younger self, like, dude, relax. Just get, get, the, get the training you need, get the tools you need to pursue what you want, but like, relax. You know, don't stress so much um, and have fun because if you're stressing about the processes of what you're trying to do and accomplish, you're not going to really enjoy the journey. And if you don't enjoy the journey and you finally get there, it's like, I don't know. For me, it's, I, I want to be, which is why I also share and document so much of my journey because I want to look back and say, damn, I started way back there. And it's not about the other person, how far they came. And I don't compare. It's how far I've come myself, you know? And I just think, I think we should celebrate ourselves more um, and I have a hard time doing that sometimes. I'm hard, pretty hard on myself. I could be better about that. Um, but not only ourselves, but other people. Like mm. people who are farther ahead than me, I don't get that feeling like, oh, damn. You know, I get the feeling like, wow, that's amazing. I want to do better, you know? And I want to be in that. So I just push myself. So I just relax. Relax, but stay hungry and keep going after it because it's not going to be easy, whatever it is you want. But just understand that it's there. It's it's already yours. You just gotta just just get there. That's it. I love it. I, and I've got to ask because everything I'm hearing you say, it just really resonates with me. And this is only stuff that I've really begun to understand over the past six years when I started doing the deep dive and <laughs> and doing a lot of reading and a lot of studying. So I'm just wondering: is there are there people that you follow? Is are were there major influences in your life that that directed you toward that kind of mindset? Yeah. Or, yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, a lot of people go to him and they talk about his political background. But if you really think about this guy, he came from another country, <laughs> came and became one of the biggest uh, well-known bodybuilders in the world, biggest movie stars. And then he got into politics and became the governor in, a, in another country like that's and then wrote books and did all these things made mo like it's. It's uh, it blows my mind how someone has that much passion and drive to accomplish something, which tells me if someone can do that, then I can probably put my head together and make something happen too. And then you know, um, one of my favorite actors, Denzel Washington, Will Smith, um, Shia LaBeouf, um, you know, all these people who are just so good at what they do. I just pay attention to what they say and what they do, and I just emulate that. And if I do that, but in my own way, in my own processes. I don't see how I can't succeed. And that puts me at ease. And anybody, <clears throat> even if they're not big name celebrities, anybody who's like just really doing their thing, it inspires me like a lot. And I'll let them know that. And it just, it just makes me feel great. And it makes me realize that the possibilities out there are for everyone. You know? That's awesome. 
That's yeah. awesome. I listened. I listened to Arnold a lot. I actually was listening him to him this morning while I was working out, and I love like I love hearing how you know he has this vision and he wor- w- win- wins the world championship and then has to you know like drop down to weight and then go back and win. And so yeah, it's really really inspiring, and I do like listening to them. But same same as you, I also like going back and because sometimes it's like, well, I'm not going to be Arnold, <laughs> you know. So going back and being able to connect with people. And that's why I think you're such an inspiration for me. Whereas, you know, you're in Arizona. Oh my goodness. I got to meet you. I, you know, like you're a real human being and, and sorry about the stalking of you on the set for a little bit, (laughs) but like it's, it's, it is important. So um, finding the people that, that you want to be like, and and that are above you and celebrate them is really important. So thank you for sharing that. That's absolutely. That's great. Yeah. That's great. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Where's where's the best place? Um, I, I know you have the two Instagram accounts, which mm-hmm. I'll mention. Are there any other places that people can watch your work that you'd like them to follow or just Absolutely. be able to connect with you on Instagram? <clears throat> so mainly on Instagram. Um, I started a TikTok a while ago. I'm not huge on TikTok. I have a few things on there. But in my bio, if you go to my link tree, you'll always be able to stay updated with my latest work, um, my resume, you know, my, my combat reel, my demo reel, commercial reel, and stuff like that. So, but mainly Instagram, um, I have the two pages at David Walton Rice and then at David Walton Rice self tapes. And, uh, if you want to get more direct my work and what I do and kind of, I talk a little bit more on my stories. Um, you can go to that page, the self tape page, and then this main page, if you want to get a laugh and, 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 uh, <laughs> have some fun, then you can go to this main page. That's awesome. And I just, you already know it, but it's sometimes it helps to hear it from the outside. I know you are going, going, going even more. I've, I've just in the short amount of time that I've been following you, I've seen you grown, grow like in confidence and in, in what you're putting out there. I think you're honing more and more in, and I know you are just going to blow it through the roof in any direction that you want to go. So just keep at it. And I appreciate everything that you do. And thank you so much for joining me here. Gosh, thank you're you. an amazing inspiration. So thank you. If anyone has any questions, throw them in. I forgot to ask earlier. I got so caught up asking all my questions. So if anyone does, reach out to David. Um, and again, just enjoy his work. So thank you so much, David. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.